Hello everybody, my name is Mrs Grist and I am the Acting Deputy Head Teacher at Stoke Park Junior School and today I'm going to be talking to you about the new relationships and sex education guidance which became statutory in the United Kingdom in September of 2020. So at Stoke Park Junior School, we consider that personal, social and health education is a key aspect of your child's education. And we aim to offer the pupils at our school a carefully planned programme, which includes um, the human development, relationship, sexuality and family life within a safe, comfortable atmosphere, but in a relaxed relationship between the children and pupil. And this programme is set within a moral framework and matched to your child's level of maturity. And our approach at Stoke Park reflects the, reflects the requirements of the Department for Education, or the DFE's Sex and Relationship Guidance. And this was made statutory in September 2020. So why teach PSHE? As I'm sure you're aware, children in our society face ever more challenges when growing up. And as a school, we aim to work with your children to help prepare them for adult life. PSHE lessons at Stoke Park help provide the building blocks and characteristics of positive relationships, with particular reference to friendships, family relationships and relationship with other peers and adults. And we firmly believe at Stoke Park that children should learn about relationships as well as the emotional, social and physical aspects of growing up. So why has the government implemented relationships and sex education? A study showed that although many schools teach PSHE very well, it found that it wasn't consistent across the country. So they believed that by making relationships and sex education statutory, this would mean that the, all the pupils in the United Kingdom would have the same coverage and there would be an improved quality and equality. There have been many calls for statutory PSHE or relationships and sex education from leading parent bodies, including Mumsnet and PTA UK. And a poll between 2019 and 20 showed that 91% of parents felt their children needed to be educated on risks such as online safety. So there are many advantages of teaching RSE. The teaching of RSE will help your children and young people to be safe, happy and healthy um, as they grow and then moving into their future lives. RSE is, developed, is delivered as part of PSHE or the science curriculum, but the teaching of RSE helps to ensure that schools meet the current spiritual, moral, social and cultural development, as well as safeguarding and emotional well-being requirements. This then enables schools to meet the requirements of the DfE primary relationships education and health education curriculum and also the national curriculum of science. So what is taught in relationships education? It's important to note that these building blocks are developed throughout your child's time at primary school and then moving into secondary school. And they are taught in accordance with your child's age and level of understanding. But from early age, children will learn about what a relationship is, what a friendship is, what a family means, who the people um, are that can be of support. And they will develop skills such as turn taking, how to treat each other, honesty, permission giving and seeking, and the concept of personal privacy. So what does Ofsted say? Well, Ofsted is really clear that schools must have a preventative programme, and this programme must enable pupils to learn about safety and risks in relationships. And through its common inspection framework, Ofsted will then make judgments on how well schools are developing and supporting children in this. So they will look at the following things. They will look at the school's ability to develop the management of pupils' feelings and behaviours and how pupils relate to each other. 
They will examine pupil understanding of how they keep themselves safe from ex sexual exploitation, including when using the internet and social media. And this is something we focus very much on at Stoke Park. And our children have demonstrated that they have a really firm understanding of this. They will also look at children's knowledge of how to keep themselves healthy, both emotionally and physically. And they will also look at a child's personal development and look at how, um, how good they are at respecting others. So at Stoke Park Junior, we will ensure that each PSHE lesson is taught and in an age appropriate manner. And each PSHE lesson will very much be tailored to meet the needs of the individual children in that class. All staff will follow the school's PSHE and RSE policy. And teachers will follow a high quality scheme of work. And I'll be talking more about this in a little while. Each lesson that is delivered is in line with um, a body of people called the PSHE Association. And the lessons also fulfill the RSE guidance but more importantly, staff undertake training to um, in their teaching of PSHE to ensure it's effective and that they are able to handle sensitive um, issues appropriately in their class. So when will relationships education become compulsory? Well, as I've said already, from September 2020, relationships education became compulsory. But health education, of which puberty education is a key component, has also become compulsory in all state funded schools and Stoke Park is one of those schools. Although sex education in primary schools is not compulsory, the Department for Education continues to recommend that primary schools have a sex education programme but it requests that the, that programme is tailored to the age and physical and emotional maturity of the pupils. And that's something that we firmly believe at Stoke Park. All maintained schools will be expected to continue teaching reproduction as part of the science national curriculum. So how do we teach PSHE at Stoke Park? Well, we follow a scheme of work which is set out by a charity named Quorum Life Education. And they are a lead provider of health, well-being, relationships and drugs education. And they deliver this scheme of work to almost half a million children across the UK. Their trained educators use evidence-based, interactive, creative methods and resources in order to enable staff to teach PSHE. So SCARF. At Stoke Park, our ERSE and PSHE lessons, sorry, our RSE lessons are a key part of PSHE. And we teach PSHE through SCARF, and this is Core and Life's education package for schools. This provides so much more than just a PSHE scheme of work because it provides the framework for a whole school approach to improving children's well-being and progress. And this is based on five values. So the S being safety, the C being caring, the A achievement, the R resilience, and the F for friendship. And the topics that we teach are so every year, the children are taught six half-termly units and they are based on the following concepts. Me and my relationships. This topic is usually taught in the first autumn term. And this is obviously because the children have just moved up from the previous year group and will be making relationships with perhaps new children and new teachers. The second topic is valuing difference. And with today's changing society, this is a really key topic. Keeping myself safe. So this will include keeping, my, um, keeping children safe online, but also enabling children to develop the skills of keeping themselves safe in different situations. Rights and responsibilities, being my best and growing and changing. 
It's important to note that this curriculum is a spiral effect. So the children will build on skills and understanding they have each year. So the lessons which are taught, for example, in a growing and changing topic in year three will look very different to that of year five or six. But although teachers follow the PSHE SCARF lessons, um, I can't stress to you enough that these are adapted according to the needs of the class. So for example, when considering the me and my relationships topic, it might be that the children from one class need particular focus on an aspect of that. So perhaps if there have been some friendship issues in the class then the teacher might need to do some additional work. Whereas another class in that year group might not have those particular needs, but might have to focus on something else. So strategies for teaching PSHE. So at Stoke Park, we use a range of strategies. We use something called circle time, which is where the teacher facilitates discussion within the class that each and every child is invited to participate. We use class discussion, which is slightly different to circle time. We use paired work, perhaps giving scenarios that children will discuss and then we'll discuss in pairs and as a class what children might do in that situation. The children might be invited to make a written response or they might participate in some role play. So in order to ensure that we are ready for the statutory guidelines, there are certain things which um, the staff at Stoke Park have undertaken. So we have reviewed our PSHE policy and we're in the process of consulting parents and governors in this. And hence why I'm, I'm presenting this to you today. We've also attended staff training to ensure that we are up to date with legislation. And in my previous school, Botley Primary, I was PSHE lead there and I implemented this at Botley. So I have a really good understanding. We have reviewed our PSHE curriculum and mapped it according to SCARF. And this is something that Mr Bristow, um, our PSHE lead, has been instrumental in. And he has ensured that PSHE is being taught across the school. And he's spoken to children about their views on the subject and fed this back to teachers. And he's monitored the provision for PSHE at Stoke Park. So dealing with tricky topics and questions. As I'm sure you are fully aware, children inevitably ask questions and some might not always be appropriate. But please be rest assured that teachers have guidance on this and questions which might come up within a session will always be discussed in advance as a year team or with a member of the leadership team. And staff will never answer things that are inappropriate or that are not meant, they're not meant to answer. And we will always direct children back to you as parents if we know that or we feel that we aren't able to answer a question that's been raised in class. And staff will always seek advice if they are unsure. So parents' right to withdraw. Many primary schools choose to teach sex education, and this beyond, goes beyond the existing national curriculum for science. And this is something that the DfE recommend that we do so. Within the teaching of sex education, it's important to note that there are certain aspects which are covered. And these include puberty, conception, reproduction, and birth. All of these things, with the exception of conception, are statutory and are included in either health education or the science national curriculum. Sex education, however, is always tailored to the age, the physical and the emotional maturity of their pupils. Before sex education is taught, parents will be invited to come into an information evening which will outline what is taught and how it is taught. And this is so it prepares you for perhaps questions or queries that your children might have, and also to set your mind at rest. As parent, and um, for you as parents, you're not permitted to withdraw your child from PSHE lessons because this forms part of the curriculum. And sex education follows statutory guidance and teachers 
um, children how a baby is conceived. The emphasis is always on a loving relationship, but really emphasizing to the children that families come in different shapes and sizes. And we believe that this is crucial in today's ever growing diverse society. So PSHE and keeping children safe is at the heart of all we do. And our school's key focus is on keeping your children safe. And schools play an important part in preventative education. And in the document, Keeping Children Safe in Education, or KICSI, it states that schools need to teach children to keep safe online as part of a broad and balanced curriculum. And they state that it's good practice to provide children with a forum for being able to speak openly. And here at Stoke Park, we use the term trusted adults. And we talk regularly with our pupils about trusted adults and how um, they can go about talking to a trusted adult if they have a worry or concerns. And therefore, it's imperative that providing those fundamental building blocks and the characteristics of positive relationships with particular reference to friendships, family relationships and relationships with children and other adults. And staff at Stoke Park work in partnership with you to help prepare your child for adulthood, because obviously you are the prime educator being the child's parent. So we, we believe it's very important that we are working in partnership with you. So next steps and questions. So at the moment, we are in the process of formulating our relationships and sex education policy. And we will be sharing this with you very soon. And we would like to invite you to feed back on the policy. And we will be very happy to answer any questions that you might have. In the meantime, if you have any questions regarding this presentation, please do feel free to contact the school office and Mr Bristow, our PSHE leader, or I, myself, Mrs Grist, will be able to get in touch with you. So thank you very much for listening to my presentation today and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Keep safe.